You are looking great. You are so young. Fibromyalgia is a fake condition. What? <sighs> Yes, last weekend I was uh, doing really well, you know, I was doing my exercise goal every day, cycling, walking. Actually, I was very uh, optimistic about it, but then I pulled my muscle in my back. So I'm uh, on twice as much painkillers now. That works, but it made me think of something. When I'm sore and I tell people I'm sore, I don't always get the reactions I would like to get. So I thought I'd make a little video about 10 things you shouldn't say to someone who has fibromyalgia. And what you should say, well, that comes at the end. I went to a few Facebook groups about fibromyalgia, but other people have it. I was actually a bit shocked by the amount of replies I got. It seems to really bother people. So I've printed out a few replies. So let's start. You are looking so great. Thank you. I, I do try. I, I go to a hairdresser once in a while. I do my hair every day. I put makeup on. If I'm sore, I put more makeup on. If I'm extra sore, I put even more makeup on. Because, I don't know, but we seem to really want to hide it and we seem to really want to look well. But if I say to you, well, I'm sore because I have fibromyalgia, and you say, oh, but you're looking so well, that's not really the thing you want to hear. Sorry guys. Here, someone says, well, you look good. Come see me at home most of the days. Someone else says, on days the pain is the worst, you won't see me at all. So, yes, I am looking well, but yesterday I didn't look so well. That's why I didn't go outside. You are so young. No, I'm not so young. I was young when I got this illness 15 years ago. And no one seemed to know what I had. I only got a diagnosis a few years ago. The thing is, rheumatic diseases can come at a very, very young age. Because even kids can get rheumatic illnesses. So if you say to me in my 40s that I'm so young, I'm not that young. You're so young. Wait till you're older. Then you learn what pain is. Yeah, well, the good thing is we already know what pain is. So I'm not afraid to get older, actually. You're not an elderly person, are you? You're young. Come on, get out of the house. You can't really hurt that bad. You're so young and thin. You probably did too much. Um, no, actually I didn't. Sometimes I did too much, but last week, no, I was actually taking a break of my work. I was just trying to do a little bit of exercise every day, half an hour. Someone says, some people don't get it. You also get pain when you're sitting too much. That's true. That's the thing with fibromyalgia. You know, sometimes you do too much, then you do too little. You have to find this balance. But even when you think you've got the balance, then still your body can say bye-bye. You probably did too much. Just take it easy. Maybe take a hot bath. Oh, it's too hard. But please don't say you're doing too much because... I don't want to do much more, believe me. Just push through it. Isn't that the opposite of point three that I just made? Yes, it is. Every, every day, actually, every day I wake up, I'm pushing through it. Because every morning, it's kind of hard. I have a hot shower straight away because I'm sore. Every morning, I'm stiff, I'm sore. Someone else says, oh, I hate it when they say think positive. People hear stories about other people with the same condition who apparently are just doing fine. Maybe some people use my story because I heard of people, well, I know I have a sister that has fibromyalgia or a cousin and they're not working. So then they're thinking maybe I'm doing really well, but okay, I'm able to do this job because the way I can feel it in myself, I make my own hours. If I'm very tired, I can rest for a week. And that's, I mean, not everyone can get a job like that. So never compare people with each other, please, because no one is the same. No one is in the same, same conditions around and nobody is the same. You know, you have the same condition doesn't mean always the same things help. I know what works for you. What? I know what works for you. Oh, do you? 
remedies people come on with and okay yeah we know you mean it really well but if everyone does that all the time it gets a little bit tiring someone said i hate it when people say why don't you do it this way when you're chronic ill you have to explain everything while i make more conscious choices than they do someone writes what is hardest for me is when i get my hopes up after a well-meaning friend suggests a supplement or new exercise or gimmick that is supposed to ease pain and make life better. I get down for getting hopeful. Someone else, those hundred thousand advisors for food, all different ones, I can't stand it anymore. If you ate healthy and clean, it should be okay. While we raise our meat and grow a lot of veggies and still I have this chronic illness for 40 years now. It's your meds making you sick. If you detox, there is nothing wrong with you. Someone else, maybe in America, I mean, in Netherlands, we don't have these commercials, it's not allowed. She says, are you taking blah, 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 blah. I saw the commercial and it will cure you. Then it was Kaleidosilver can fix it. When that didn't work, it was CBD vaping. When that didn't work, it was CBD oil. And when that didn't work, I had to use Kryton. Any just statements, just rest more, just exercise more, just think more positive, just eat healthier etc etc it were so easy don't you think we do it mention all the trollers who say they have a product or system that will cure it peeps if those systems and products worked we all be cured if someone would find a cure they would get really really rich go find a doctor that can fix you um why, where do i look there in the supermarket which which shelf is this up there Oh, maybe because I'm I'm so small, I, 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 I can... Maybe you should lose some weight. Okay, again, I'm reading out some comments of people who have fumeology as well and are bothered about things that are said to them. Of course, no one ever told me I should lose weight because, well, I'm almost underweight. So I did hear people saying to me that I wasn't healthy because I'm so skinny. I actually gained weight the few, last few weeks. I'm on a, on a very normal, very uh, healthy weight at the moment. So that's good. The people who said they lost weight, they actually got more sore. They, they thought they were more sore. It is in your head. Where's that song? Where's that song? In your head. In your head. Zombie. 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 Whatever. Yeah. Even doctors have said that. In the past, I have to say, because now they do get a bit more aware of fibromyalgia. Once in Ireland, a doctor said to me, it's great to see someone that healthy in my clinic. Yeah, you're welcome. And that's before I even knew what I had you know I was very insecure and I was very I was almost started to believe it was in my head that maybe something was wrong and I had to see a therapist and and then the doctor says to you wow great you're so healthy someone here says she has a friend he wonders how much of the pain is in her head if I didn't think about it it would feel better I feel the salmon the summer. Sorry. I feel the same. I feel the same. How do you? <laughs> That's uh, nice. <laughs> High five. <laughs> oh, you mean this weird pain in my back? Yeah, I have the same thing. Oh, you just want a day of shopping? Yeah, well, I'm, that also makes me tired. Everyone gets tired and forgets things. Someone says, after trying to explain why I can't make it to a family gathering, attempting to explain the pain, fatigue and brain fog. Oh, I think I have that too. I've had pain for years. No, 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 you don't. If you did, you would have seen the doctor years ago. Because it's not a pain, you can just muddle through. But thanks for minimizing my illness. Someone else got this reply. Oh yeah, I feel like that once in a while. Uh, duh. But it's not just once in a while, it's a 24 seven thing. And when I say, I'm feeling very fatigued right now, they say, yeah, I'm tired too. Mm, it's not the same. Or I sometimes do get muscle pain. That's so sore. 
Yeah, but I didn't do anything yesterday. Why? I, I, there's no reason for me to have muscle pain when I'm on a bike. Yeah, okay, then we can talk about the same thing. That's why I like to be on a bike because then we're just, you know, we're on the same level. Almost. Next. Everyone has his pains. It could be worse. You're totally right. And I am thinking that a lot. Everyone who has pain or is suffering of something, yeah, it always could be worse. Someone else can have AOS and is dying, which is, of course, way worse. But then there also could be someone, they had to take their leg. But it could be worse because I recently read about a baby and they had to take bits of everything, of their arms and their legs. Oh, that's, that's horrible. So yeah, of course, it always could be worse. And I do think that a lot and I'm really grateful for what, for what I have. I'm blessed for all the things I have. And I know it could be way, way worse. Just, it's okay when I say that, but please don't say it to someone else. You can say it about yourself, but please don't say it to someone who's in pain because it's just not helping. If I'm in a lot of pain on a day, I want to feel sorry with myself. And I think I'm, I'm entitled to be that sometimes. I mean, if you have a flu, you probably think you're dying. So I've heard this a lot of times, but it's good you don't have real rheumatism. There's no damage in your body. You just have to push through it. There's no damage in your body. I'm not sure there's no damage in my body. I hope there's no damage in my body, but there is something wrong. It's just something they can find. They are doing some research, not enough, but they see, see more things that there's things in the brain that are different, things in the nerve system. They do see more and more. There were days that I hoped I had like the classic rheumatism and the doctor would go for a treatment with me. Well, now it's, you just have to, just have to deal with it on your own you know you don't really get much help you were thinking about it way too much way too much <laughs> sound good but wait a minute of course i'm thinking about it way too much because i'm in constant pain so if if you would have had a headache the whole time would you just forget about it no that's just stupid. Someone, you know, says, yeah, they say to me, ah, oh, don't, uh, don't complain so much. You know, it's nothing. You let it rule your life too much. Things like that. Yeah, everyone deals different with it on a different way. I do sport a lot because after years and years I was sick of it. I just wanted to have my life back. So I fought to have my life back. Actually, you have to be maybe a bit crazy in your head to do that. Go through the pain. Normally, you have pain. It's a signal of your body. Recently, I was with a friend on a cycling trip, a press trip, and her saddle was too high and she got pain. And I remember thinking a little bit, why don't you just go on, you know? I mean, because I have pain all the time. I didn't really see the, the big issue. I mean, she, she had pain and I thought, yeah, so what? And then later I said, oh, I'm so sorry that I let you continue cycling. I should have told you to stop, you know. I get a taxi for you or something because it's normal to listen to your pain. And when your body says there's pain, it says stop this. What you're doing right now is not healthy. It's not good. Stop it. If you decide that you're going through the pain, it's, it's not a natural thing at all. I did learn with fibromyalgia that it seems, I'm not sure, but it seems that my brain or my nerves are giving the wrong signals. They still think I'm in a stress position, that there's an emergency, that there's danger. So I'm in this pain, but in my circumstances, it doesn't mean I should listen to that. If you know someone who has fibromyalgia and is always inside on the couch, you could maybe try to help that person a bit. Maybe you go for a walk together, do something together. But also understand that if someone has pain, that it's actually normal that that person wants to be on the couch. That's a normal reaction when, when you've got a flu, when you've got a cold. That's what you do, right?
you're sick. I believe for a lot of years I had to do that. And doctors were saying that back then. Now the doctor says, oh, uh, but are you doing enough exercise? Yeah, so, and for me the exercise helped. It also doesn't mean that it helps for everyone. Eh? That's also a thing. You have got a fake condition. Uh, what? Excuse me? You have got a fake condition. Uh, what? You have got a fake condition. I've got a fake condition? Why? Why are you basing that on? Oh, of course, because it's just a sickness that they don't know that much about. Like I said, they are actually doing research and they do know more and more about it. It's just, you know, they don't print that in the normal newspapers or magazines. It's in scientific magazines and... You have got a fake condition. If you know someone with fibromyalgia, please don't say that, please. It's hard enough to have an illness that has so much... Yeah, so much still unknown. It's horrible, you know? So, and the good things. Someone said, why don't you make a video about the good things? And I was thinking of doing that, but then I thought, yeah, but that list, that's actually really short. I asked on Facebook what people want to hear, what they want to hear. It's all, they all, they all say the same things. They want to hear, I'm, I'm here for you. Someone said, yeah, it's nice when a friend maybe can say, say it when it's too much for you. I have a friend who, when we go on, on a trip together, she actually carries my luggage sometimes. And I'm like, whoa. And she says, yeah, you just have to say it. You know, when I'm carrying it, something it's very heavy and I can't do it. She says, well, why don't you just say it? Just come on, give it to me. And that, that's great, really. Someone else said, it would be nice if they say, you're always smiling despite the pain. Respect. I had a few people who said it to me, that's a much better thing than, oh, but you're looking great. You're smiling. You're trying so hard to look happy while I know you're in a lot of pain, respect. Someone else said, oh, I would love to know you're the bravest person I know. You are a warrior. You are strong. Yeah, I would like it if people say you're a superwoman. Hmm, I like that. You are superwoman. <laughs> say that again, please. You are superwoman. Oh, wow, that sounds good, man. Superwoman. Whee! Thank you all. And uh, if you like this video, it would be really nice if you want to put your thumb up because then uh, hopefully more people can see it. And if you subscribe, that would be great too. Bye bye.